All right, what's up guys? This is Lucas here. So today I have a package from the cubicle. I should have three custom cubes in here. Uh, I got these in preparation for my next competition, uh, which is in about a week. So I'm very excited to get into these puzzles. So unexpectedly, I received five cubes, well, puzzles. Yeah, that is really surprising, uh, but uh, I'm very, very appreciative. So. <laughs> Let's get into, I don't even know what we have here. Looks like a few 4x4s and maybe a couple of Mega Minxes, so. All right, um, let's do, I'll do this 4x4 first. Uh, I think a couple of these cubes have the, uh, a new lube treatment. Um, I think it's the plant-based lube that the cubicle has. So I'm very interested to see how these are. I'm pretty sure it's fairly light, uh, but it also enhances the speed of cubes. So let's give it a go. All right, first turns. Nice. Okay. It definitely is very fast, but it, it's a little dry, but I think that'll go away with some working in. But yeah, this cube is definitely, um, it's probably faster than my current ASU GTS 2 out of the box. Yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, this cube is an ASU GTS 2M, uh, because mine has already worn out. Oh yeah, I like this. It's quite fast. The inner layers aren't, aren't quite as fast as the outer layers, but they still... They're still functioning really well. And also you get this uh, logo on the green side. So yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like this lube is definitely very light, um, but very quick. So living up to um, expectations, really like it. Okay, and then I guess it would make the most sense to compare this cube to the standard version, uh, just the normal cubicle ASU GTS-2M. Uh, I got both in sticker list because at this at this point, um, I prefer sticker list big cubes. They're just much more manageable, and it also sticker list helps my recognition quite a bit. So. But I still prefer black cubes for 2x2 two two and 3x3. Three three. Okay, um, so this one feels like it has a little more lube on that side, possibly. Um, well, let's go. Okay. Yeah, this one isn't quite as fast out of the box, but it definitely is more gummy. Okay. Interesting. I'm not really sure which one I will prefer. Um, obviously that's going to take some solves to determine, but what I can say is that the plant-based treatment, <laughs> that sounds weird, uh, the cube with uh, the plant-based lube treatment, uh, it's ready to go straight out of the box, but this one needs, it will need some breaking in. But from what I can remember, this cube is very similar to the first ASU GTS-2 I received, uh, which turned out very nicely. Uh, it took probably 50 saws to break in, so not too many. Maybe even fewer than that. I do tend to prefer cubes that are a bit more gummy, but I also really enjoy faster big cubes, so I, I kind of foresee a little dilemma. Uh, but it's a good dilemma to have, so. <laughs> oh yeah, both of these cubes are really nice. Uh, look forward to breaking them in. Alright, uh, I believe I have another 4x4 remaining. Um, but to spice things up a little, I'll go ahead and, uh, start with the Mega Mixes. So this one, I believe, is the, it's the Mega Mix with the plant-based treatment. <laughs> 
plant-based lube treatment. <laughs> I keep on messing that up. Uh, the base cube is a uh, Chi um, or X-Men Galaxy LM, I believe. Version 2. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I haven't gotten a new Mega Megamix in a while, but this is very impressive uh, right away. Yeah, I don't know why I did a 3x3 three three algorithm there, but... Yeah, I definitely need to improve my Mega Minx technique, but I think what was holding me back was hardware. Uh, but I feel like this this cube or this puzzle should really help me with that. Uh, like the 4x4, this cube is very fast out of the box, which is what I like to see. Um, yeah, I just hope that this being lasts. Um, but only time will tell. I noticed that the stability on this cube is really nice uh, because I don't, I've never owned a Galaxy V2, so that's just kind of more of the, an attribute of the cube, but the loom makes it very fast. Um, I imagine this will be faster than the other Magnix. Nice. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, and then here is the other Mega Minx. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if this one is set up. Because um, I don't think I requested this one, but uh, we'll have to see. Okay, here's the cube. Oh yeah, this one's a lot more dry, so I'm assuming this one's um, straight out of the box. Which makes sense. I can do my own setup. Um, stability is still there, it's just a little slower, a little more dry. Uh, so the plant-based lubricant definitely does help quite a bit. Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't, I use horrible commutators. Uh, I need to, I need to learn some more algs, but, uh, yeah. And then finally, uh, this is just another Asus GS2. I believe this one is not set up either, uh, so that I can do as I please with it. Okay, so here's the cube. Um, the speed is definitely there. Um, but it's, uh, obviously a lot more dry than the setup version. Um, I might be getting a little more lockups, which is probably due to the more inconsistent tensioning as well. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still ready to go out of the box. Um, I definitely could use this puzzle. But yeah, pretty good. Okay, so these are all the puzzles I received from the cubicle. Uh, three or four by fours, two Mega Minxes. I really appreciate their generosity in providing me with all of these puzzles, and I hope that they will help me in my next competition. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on my progress with these cubes, and that's about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.